of uh, your clinic. But moving on, the national women's uh, football team, Thank that you. is Arambe Stylitz, is uh, ready and prepared to take on uh, Malawi this afternoon in uh, the Olympic qualifiers second leg uh, to be played at uh, 3 p.m. Let's take a look at what the ladies have to say. I uh, want to look forward to banging these all my chances to, to lose. Uh, so far, I have a in, in, major injury in another two years in another two game. I want to look for a win. We must win quite two. Uh, two away goals playing at Tingisha. I met Tingisha opponent. Yeah. So to go home, uh, another semana big chance for us. Uh, but the uh, your support from home, pia 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 in a torture due as much as what a quarter stadium. But uh, Niko Shua, uh, Mali Watawanea, wata to support. Ikuwa raisi ju ilikuwa we. Then, pia, pia ikuwa ngumu vile ju tuliona vile ilikuwa. Lakini, tulijikaza, na tunasema ya home. Oh, now tunawakula mzuri sana. So, tumesema kama ni chance, tutatumia. Then, tuna, tunambia ma wakenya wote, wasima mena stalet, watuombe. Na juu ita kuwa raisi kucheza pia bila mafansi, lakini sisi kama wachezaji tutaki mafansi. Si yadi tulikuwa ma, malawi, tukuwa na mafansi, tulikuwa peki yetu. Na at least tulikuja tuli, tuli second half na tuka at least tuka equalize two, three. Mimi niko short nita tunawini game hapa home. Niko na, tuko na sisi wote tunajua nita kuwini game hapa home. Na tuko ready kufight. Of course, uh, Starlets uh, will be taking on uh, Malawi this afternoon at 3 p.m. And uh, Malawi on the other side say the 3-2 win away will star them as they take on the Starlets. Let's take a look at uh, what uh, their coach had to say. I know they will be come with a different approach since it's the home ground is a home ground is a home ground advantage. So I know they'll come with a different approach. We have also, also our own approach that we're going to see the game tomorrow. Nothing can happen in football. I know that's why in football it doesn't mean that if you score, other people can cannot also score. So that is part of the game. You know, in football anything can happen. So whatever result come tomorrow, we we'll just accept it. Now the Kenya under-15 national team safely jetted back into the country on Saturday night from Eritrea where they came second at the Sekafa under-15 championships. Kenya lost 4-0 in the final at the hands of Uganda in the inaugural edition of the junior regional competition. One coach, Saga Lakhani, noted that this was insightful with a lot of lessons to be learned. Let's listen in. We probably need to improve um, our tactical variations a little bit more. Because in a, in a tournament, people watch you, they read you, and then they try and find solutions to that. Like our game versus Burundi, they'd studied us for two games. So they, so they took care of our, our strengths. And it took us a while before we could make an adjustment. One of the nicest things is that we played so many different styles of football that in 15 days, we actually played three different uh, formations, right? And that's, that's a huge part of the boys' learning experience. As a team, I think we just need to work as um, being more together because if we work better together, I don't think um, any team can stop us. And um, I think we did really well. We've learned from our mistakes. We need to work on them for the next tournament. If we can just shift gears a bit now, Carl Flashtundo is the winner of the 2019 KCB Nanuki Rally after clocking one hour 46.27 minutes ahead of championship leader Balev Shaga and Manvir Baryan. Tundo led from the onset, winning three as Baldi powered his Evo X to record the same number of wins. 25 drivers were in action during the event that saw Chaga, Baryan and Ian Duncan scoop the second, third and fourth positions respectively. Take a look.
Yeah, no, it's always good being uh, being at the top. It's been a while. Um, we miss Mombasa, I suppose. So felt that I might be rusty, but uh, I know the Lalday goes quite well, and it's awesome, committed, uh, technical rallying. So um, yeah, super happy, of course. You know, the first first loop we were we were quite quick, uh, but Baldy was pushing, and I knew on the second loop Baldy would push even harder. So he, I was asleep on the third, the fourth section, and then the fifth section I woke up again. So um, no, I, I, obviously it's it's fantastic to be at the top, and it's amazing here in Nanuki to see all the crowds again. It uh, feels like the old uh, old days of you know 50 cars. We need to get some more energy.